Reports. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We're broadcasting from Denver, Colorado, from Denver Open Media. The FBI has opened an inquiry into this week's killings of three Muslim students in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. In a statement, the agency said it had launched a, quote, parallel preliminary inquiry to determine whether or not any federal laws were violated. <clears throat> On Thursday, over 5,000 people gathered for the funerals of 23-year-old Dia Barakat, his wife, 21-year-old Yusor Mohammed Abu Saleh, and her sister, 19-year-old Razan Mohammed Abu Saleh. The suspected gunman, Craig Stephen Hicks, who described himself as a gun-toting atheist, has been charged with three counts of first-degree murder. Chapel Hill police say the shooting stemmed from a dispute over a parking space, but relatives of the victims say it was a hate crime. Yusur and Razan's father, Mohammed Abu Saleh, spoke at the funeral. There's no doubt, as I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this honor of raising three children. This has hate crime written all over it, and I'm not going to sit down and bend over that. Because we need to know things the way they are. We have peace inside. We are not seeking any revenge. Our children are much more valuable than any revenge. Mohammed Abu Saleh speaking at Thursday's funeral for his two daughters and son-in-law. Azar Ziz of the Islamic Society of North America also spoke at the funeral. We are concerned that the rising anti-Muslim rhetoric in our society may have encouraged some to commit violence against American Muslims. So we urge the law enforcement to investigate this case as a possible hate crime. On Thursday's Democracy Now!, we spoke to Amira Atta about the murder of her childhood friend of Yusur Abu Saleh. Well, today we're going to hear Yusur in her own words. Last May, she did an interview with her third grade teacher, Musarut Jabin, as part of the StoryCorps Oral History Project. All three of this week's victims attended Jabin's school. This week, StoryCorps produced a short piece based on that interview. I'm Lina Anwar, one of the producers here at StoryCorps. Today we'll hear the voice of one of the students killed in Tuesday's shooting in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. My name is Yusur Abu Salha. I am uh, 20 years old, and today I will be interviewing my former teacher and principal. That teacher is Musarat Jabin, who taught Yusur Abu Salha in third grade. In fact, she knew all of the victims, Yusur, her husband Dia Barakat, and her sister Razan, since they were kids. Jabin brought Yusur to StoryCorps last May. You're going to hear part of that conversation and a follow-up interview recorded just yesterday with Jabin. She was the first one to come to my mind. She was one student I would like everybody to know about. Growing up in America, has been such a blessing and although in some ways I do stand out such yes. as you know the hijab the, yes. the head covering um, there's still so many ways that I feel so embedded in the fabric that is our culture and here we're all one I remember Yusur as a little girl when she was in third grade she had this sense of giving that really makes her different from other children I still remember in third grade, when we ask for something, you used to say, don't put your hand like this. You would have your hand facing downwards as if you're taking something from someone. Oh my God, you yeah. still remember? And then you'd flip your hand over and you'd open your hand upward as, you know, a giving gesture. You know, be giving, open, compassionate. Dia, Yusur, and Razan, these kids, their face was so radiant. They would just bring light to the room. And they treat me like their mother. I see you nowadays, and you're always asking, how are you, you know, where are you now in life? And now I'm at NC State University. And got married to one of my other students. Yeah, <laughs> that was um, pretty interesting. <laughs> I was so happy, you know, when I saw you guys together. And you will be together for the rest of your life, inshallah. I just remember Dia when he was growing up. He was getting taller. And because I'm a short person, he would stand behind me and put his hand over my head. And I just told him, Dia, you can never outgrow my heart. 
Before our time is up, Sister Jabin, I'd just like to thank you. It's been an honor. No, I want to thank you, Yusuf, and the honor is mine. Thank, thank you so you. much. Of course. I would like people to know and remember her as a practicing Muslim, as a daughter, and above all, as a good human being. You know, when we write our comments on report cards, we say they exceeded our expectations. She exceeded our expectations. That's Musa Root Jabin, teacher and principal at Aliman School in Raleigh, North Carolina, where all three victims in Tuesday's shooting had been students. Yusur first came to StoryCorps in May um, with her teacher. This interview was recorded in partnership with WUNC and will be ar archived at the Library of Congress. Special thanks to Dave Isay and StoryCorps.